In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to edit assignments and add uh, different parts of different assignments and maybe give you a couple of options for how you want to design your course here. Go ahead and get to your course. I'm to my U.S. government course. And the first thing I want to show you is just about organization uh, and just keeping your course clean. If we go to the bottom of my course, um, yeah, I, this is a new course that I'm building online, so it, it's kind of being taken from a previous course I've taught, and things are getting built as we go. Uh, so I've got module one pretty much completely built, and module two is underway, um, and then I deleted my module four. It's, so I, I've got things that are, are being built as we go, but if you're a teacher, you don't really want the students to see all that. Uh, and until you're ready for them to see it. Moodle has a really nice feature. Uh, it doesn't work particularly great. This is probably, uh, use-wise, one of the least favorite features I have about Moodle. But as far as looks go, it, it gets the job done. If we look at Topic 9 here, I'm not using Topic 9. I will by the time the year's over, but I'm not using it now. If you go over to the right here, we, we see an eyeball. Uh, and below topic 9, you see this eyeball has a slash through it uh, in topics 10 through topics 19. I've created all these topics because I know I'll use them. Uh, and I create them by clicking this plus or delete them by clicking this minus. But uh, topic 9 is not in use yet. So I'm going to click that. And uh, what that does is it hides topic 9. Uh, my module 1 assessment review is not ready to go yet, so I'm going to hide that. My module 4 is not ready to go, so I'm going to hide that. And, and use-wise, you can see why this is a bit frustrating, because you have to go down each and every time and click and click and click, and then continue to go back down. But a couple clicks, and, and I'm now hiding everything that I don't want the students to see. Let me quickly turn my editing off. We'll go back down, and now you see that these are all grayed out. Now, you can also create an option, um, which is pretty simple, to just have those simply disappear from the student view. I'll cover that in a future video here. But for now, uh, we have the setup pretty much the way that I want. So I'm going to turn editing back on, and let's go ahead and create uh, an assignment. The way that I've got my Moodle course working, so we get down to module one, uh, I have these activities that I, I call LAPs, LAPs. Uh, before our class had one-to-one -one technology, I, I would pass out these giant packets at the beginning of each unit, and those packets would be everything the kids needed for the entire unit. This allowed them to kind of work through the unit at their own pace, which I'm a big believer in. Now that we are online, we can do a lot of that uh, by by just making a separate page. So the student will complete their assignments for each of the five laps. In this case here, these are just chapter outlines. But once they have completed the lap, then they need to have a place to turn that lap in so that I can grade it. So we have here their lap where they can open up a Google Doc, type into it, and they can complete their lap. Look at that. Once they've completed it, then they click on this link and they can turn that in. So that's cool. So how do we do that? Let's go back to the main Moodle page and we'll create a new turn in link uh, for an assignment that I have not yet uh, uploaded. So my students are writing these essays on how America will eventually fall and fail. But before they do that, I, I want to collect their thesis statements uh, so that I know that they're on the right track. So I'm going to add an activity. And in this case, I just want to add online text. So they are going to be able to just type into a text box, and that's what they'll turn in. I like to label mine really clearly in all caps, turn in, and then we will title it How America Will Fall Thesis Statement. then I want uh, them to approve this thesis statement uh, before they start typing up their essay. Uh, 
All right, so I've got the instructions there. I want those instructions to appear on the page. Um, I'm going to go and disable these. So that's if you want to set the uh, dates and the due dates, which I, I don't want to do that. I'm going to set the grade. I have my entire essay worth 25 points. So I'm going to set this one uh, just at 10 points. We don't need to change either of these. As far as the online text goes, I do want to allow resubmitting because I want to be able to work uh, back and forth with the student. Since this is the first one and the kids are just getting used to it, I, I'm going to have my email alerts uh, turned on and I'm going to turn comments on so that I can comment on their uh, text and they can see it right there. As far as groups go, I'm going to create separate groups so my two classes uh, can be different. I don't want to restrict any access here. Um, if you would like to, then go for it, but I, I don't want to restrict any access. Then I'm going to take away that students can manually mark uh, their completion there and not change anything else. We'll save and return to the course and now we have a new assignment that they can turn in. Now the thesis statement is going to get turned in before their essay so let's move that by clicking on these arrows. Okay so you can see the thesis statement was right here and it's disappeared. I just want to move it up before the essay. So I'll click in that blank box and we see those two assignments have changed spaces. Now the last thing I want to do is go up here to my purposes of government page where they originally had this assignment introduced. I'm going to edit the settings. I'm going to come down here and toggle some of my features, make it go full page. So how America will fall essay, I'm, I'm going to add in some instructions here. So they can watch a tutorial, they can view the slideshow, they can click here to uh, go to their assignment. And then I also want to add a link. So turn in your thesis statement here. Turn in your final essay here. And then I'm going to create some hyperlinks. Here's the best way that I found to do that. Open up a second Moodle page, go back to my government course, um, and I still have the editing turned on while I'm doing this. You don't need to turn your editing off. And I'm going to go to my submission links here where, where I'm actually getting things turned in. So I want the thesis statement turned in here. So I'll click on that, and this URL right here, I'm going to copy it or you can do control C. I'm going to highlight here and click the hyperlink button or control K. I'm going to paste it or control V. I'm going to change this to open a new window and I'm going to insert. Okay. Now I want to make a link to the final essay. So we'll go back to the main page, click on this link for the final essay. Again, We'll copy, go back to our page, and we'll create a link, paste it into there, open a new window, and insert. Okay. Now we'll toggle back off of full screen, save and return to course, and I've now linked up my instructions. Okay. So this is a really important tool for organizing my course. I've got my instructions here, but then I actually have my links to turn in assignments down here. Now this gives students a lot of uh, freedom, and this is really how college courses are turned in, uh, which you all as teachers remember quite well. You have lots of different places to access things. Uh, there's not a single link uh, to turn an assignment in. They can access it right here. They can access it through their instructions. Uh, they can even access it uh, on the side if they uh, are in this section over here. So lots of different options. The student, if they're getting lost, really just aren't uh, putting their effort into figuring out how it works. And that's a big skill uh, that I want to teach them as they're getting ready to go to college. Hope that helps. Uh, and I hope that you have a, a good luck getting your course organized here.